Yeah, hey, Garcia. Yeah. It's uh, late May, but you look at this offense. What excites mm -hmm. you about this offense, and, and, and how, how are you grasping this playbook with the DB? Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. Obviously, it's still early. Um, we're still working through some things, but I think we've made a lot of progress already, and EB's doing a really good job, and he's he just cares about the details. Um, and so it's just so much fun to play for a guy like that, and he's he's very hot, hard on us, and he sets a high standard, as you guys can probably tell by being out here at practice. But, you know, that's what we want. You know, we want to be coached hard, and we want, want, to, want to play for someone that has a high standard. Um, and, and it's been good. You know, obviously, it's a, it's a really good system, um, and I think it'll be good a good way for us to use the weapons that we have. Um, we have a lot of really good weapons, so I'm excited. You mentioned that just expand on of how you feed off of a EB, the vocalness, the energy mm -hmm. that he brings to the field, to the offense. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, he, he brings that energy every single day. Um, and we try to feed on that, feed off of that, and we try to bring our own energy as well. Um, and we try to come out of practice every day and, and, and get ready to go and have the right mindset. Um, and, and, and we're just trying to follow EB's lead, and he's doing a really good job. What's the biggest thing you try to work on in the offseason? How do you see it translating to this so far? Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing, you know, I'm always just trying to become the best version of myself, and I'm, I, I evaluate every single part of my game, and I try to get a little bit better in every single area. Um, really, the main focus has been trying to learn this playbook, um, and, you know, it's, it's kind of a wordy system, um, but it's a really good system, and I've and I've loved it so far, and I've, I've enjoyed being in there and learning the new system and, and watching the film and studying what they were doing in Kansas City, um, and obviously they were doing a really good job, and, you know, we're just trying to come out here and get better at the system each and every day, and we're making some really good progress, so I'm excited. There was a lot of focus on the footwork. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm a lot better. Um, you know, I've, I've, I just I try to get better every single year, especially when I have a long break like that. And being back with my quarterback coach, Anthony Boone, back home, we, he did a really good job. Um, and, and really kind of before I got here and got the – because I really couldn't learn anything until I got here. Um, so it was I, once I knew we had EB, I was kind of watching Kansas City film and kind of seeing what they were doing. And so I feel like I was able to kind of match my footwork up to what they are doing in Kansas City. And I feel like I'm matching up pretty well out here. That's quite, that's quite the guy to be watching. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Pat. Yeah, Pat, obviously, he's, he's a heck of a player. Um, so much respect for him and, and what they're able to do in Kansas City, and it's been a lot of fun because, I mean, that's all the film we watch is what they're doing in Kansas City, so it's been fun to watch, and he's definitely a great one to look at. How is it working with Tavita? Yeah, Tavita's awesome. Uh, he's a he's a great coach. Obviously, I, I didn't I didn't I didn't know him before um, he came. Obviously, he came from college, and he's done a really good job. He's very detailed, and he comes in every single day with with a plan, um, and he just tries to do everything he can to make sure we come on the field prepared. Um, he's just done a great job, and he's a great guy as well. Fun to be around, um, and he's doing a really good job. Do you find it helpful to have a, a professional coach that has played the position, even if not at you know the NFL, but at a high level? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously that I think that definitely can help at times. Obviously, because they've been behind the center and they they know what it's like to be back there and play. So definitely, he can speak from his past experience. He played he played a lot in college, um, so that definitely is a big advantage. Now, what does it really mean to be here at this early point in your career, be here out at OTAs, and just be you know the guy that's taking first team reps and be you know kind of describing you as the QB one right now? What, what's this experience been like for you? Yeah, obviously it's awesome. Um, you know, it's just, it's a great opportunity for me, and I'm just super blessed to to be in the position I am. Um, I think a lot of people probably wouldn't have expected this outcome, um, but I'm just gonna try to do everything I can to just take this opportunity and just try to take advantage of it. Um, and I'm gonna give this team and give this organization every single everything that I have, um, and just try to do everything I can to help this team win. Having a veteran like Jacoby Brissett in that room, yeah. how do you feed off each other, and how do you make each other better? <clears throat> Yeah, um, Jacoby's awesome. Um, me and him have become really good friends, and he's just a great, great guy. He's been through so much in his career. He's he's seen a lot, um, and he's he spent some time with a lot of different teams. He was in New England for a long time with with Brady, and so he just has so many stories and so much insight that he can share. Um, and and he's been he's been he's been great to have here, and he helps a lot. How do you feel like you've progressed as a leader? Being yeah. Anyone? Yeah, I think I just have a different role than last year. Um, I think the leadership's always been inside of me. Um, just last year, you know, with the position I was in, it wasn't my job to come out here and, you know, try to get guys ready to go. Um, but I think definitely just stepping into this year in a new role, it's, it's my job to get the guys going and take command of this team. Um, and so it's something I always still, I'm always trying to improve. Um, but obviously it's just a different, different role for me this year, and I have a lot more to do when I'm on the field, and i got to take control of the offense. Ron was mentioning that he mics you up. What's that been mm -hmm. like for you? Yeah, it's been fun. Um, you know, I'm mic'd up when I'm saying the play calls and at the line of scrimmage, so it's been fun. I mean, it's a good opportunity for me to learn and, and hear what I sound like because um, it's something I've really never heard before. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it is. When, when they first said they were going to do it, I, I was kind of shocked because I've never heard of uh, somebody doing it. But I think it's a great idea, and it's definitely been it's been fun to hear their feedback and stuff like that. What have, kind you, of feedback have, you, like? have you changed anything after listening to yourself? Yeah, I mean, I, I, just trying to – we. 
Coach E.B. says it all the time, to over-communicate over -communicate clarity. Um, and so just trying to over-communicate at the line of scrimmage with the O-line and stuff like that. And just if I need saying one more word, one more code word that means something that they, they need to hear. Um, so just to try to make sure we're all on the same page. Take three more. It, it seems like the, the fan base has really rallied around you. Have you felt that? And, and what does that mean? Yeah, it's been awesome, um, especially with the fans out here. You know, it's been a lot of fun. Um, but you know, I'm just super blessed um, that people are supporting me. Um, obviously, I, I really don't think I've deserved anything at this point. Um, but I am super thankful to the fans. They've been they've been awesome to me. One thing that we saw you guys working on today was drawing off platforms and just getting things in route. Mm. Have you ever worked with a coach or coaches that intentionally have you making a throw that aren't set? Yeah, for sure. Um, so my quarterback coach back home, Anthony Boone, um, that's a – that's a really big thing that he focuses on is making those off-platform throws just because everyone knows in this game you're not going to be sitting back there in a clean pocket most of the time. Um, you're going to be trying to avoid a guy and try to try to make a throw. So you're going to be off-platform a lot. So that's something that we focus on um, back home when I'm home training. And even while I was here last year with Coach Zampezi, um, he did a really good job of that stuff. And he's he's really good at the fundamental side of the game. And when we get some any time here with Tavita, obviously we haven't had much time just only I think this is what our fifth practice um, but so we try to squeeze some of that stuff in as well but I've, I've had some awesome coaches in my life and it's just you know it's just been been awesome to be a part of Yeah, I mean, I'm always going to try to, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be Sam Howe, you know, I'm not going to try to be anybody else. Um, obviously, you know, I watch the film and I think Patrick does a heck of a job um, and he, he excels on extending the play and making those off platform throws. And, you know, I think I'm, I'm capable of, you know, making plays myself. Um, so I'm, I don't try to go out there and be anybody else. I try to go out there and be the best version of myself. There was a moment, after, there was a moment after red zone where EB kind of pulled you aside. What was his message to you and, and you know, what does it mean for him to yeah, I mean he's just coaching. Um, so we, I go back there um, almost always after we finish like a rack of plays, and we kind of just talk through the plays. He asked me what I saw, and if there's one one play he did, he didn't agree with my decision, he tells me. Um, and so we kind of go from there. Um, but I just love being coached, and I love that he does that type of stuff because I always want feedback. Um, and I tell I tell them that all the time to coach me hard. I want to be coached hard, so it's been fun. Is that before the stretching or <coughs> after? He came up to you during the stretching. Yeah, he came stretching as well, but a after a couple. Yeah, after, well, there's after a couple like possessions, um, he would call me back, like why Jacoby went in and stuff like that. But we're all, we're always in constant communication throughout the practice, um, just so we can get on the same page. All right, thanks. Sam. Cool, thanks, guys.